Hey guys, Wayne Jennings here. Got myself a new little gadget I'm going to check out. It's made by a company called Axoon. It's called the Simo. And what it is, it allows you to use your Apple iPhone or your iPad as a monitor on your camera. Not only will it monitor your video, it will also record your video. Now, full disclosure, the folks at Axoon sent this to me to evaluate. I didn't pay for it. And they are not paying me to do this review. So all the opinions are mine. So let's check it out. The Axoon Simo is an HDMI adapter that allows you to connect either your iPhone or your iPad to any HDMI source, thereby turning your Apple device into a high definition video monitor that is also capable of recording HD video in resolutions up to 1080 60. Here's the box that the CMO comes in. Let's just open it up here, show you exactly what you get. Of course, you get an instruction manual, and this is the actual cradle that your iPhone sits on. It is spring loaded so that your phone sits in there nice and securely. There are some input and output ports on the side, and on the back is a cradle where a battery uh, goes, this unit does require power. Uh, it doesn't come with a battery, so you have to supply that yourself. Now on the bottom here is a quarter inch tripod socket to uh, mount the cradle, and it does come with this little adapter here uh, to allow you to mount it on your camera. Uh, it's made of a nice metal material, so this quarter inch bolt threads into the bottom, and then there's this cold shoe on the other end it slides on top of your camera. Now you can adjust the pivot on this. There's a little uh, recessed bolt there. It comes with this little uh, Allen key that you can put in there uh, to adjust it if you need to. And also a few cables comes with it. Uh, this one is a USB-C on this end and an Apple lightning plug on the other end. That is allows you to take an output from the cradle video feed and feed that directly into your iPhone. There's another cable in here as well, uh, USB-C to USB-C, which can be used to connect uh, the newer iPad Pro. You can also use this cable to power other devices. Attaching your phone to the CMO and hooking it up to your camera is pretty simple. I'll just run through that for you right now. The first thing you'll probably need to do is hook up this little attachment, which allows you to put the unit on the uh, hot shoe on your camera. That just threads on like so. Now this unit does require a power source. There's a place in the back for a battery. Uh, this is not supplied with a battery. That you have to provide yourself. It uses these Sony NPF series batteries and these are available in various capacities. They just slide on the back like so. There are several ports on here. There's your HDMI in, that's where the feed comes from the camera. Above that is a five volt output. That's in case you wanna power something else, maybe a video light or a microphone, you can take power from there. Uh, on the other side is a video out port, which sends the video signal to your iPhone. And above that is a small power switch that turns everything on. And putting the phone on is really easy. It's this spring loaded clip here. Just pull it up until it snaps into place. And then when you set the phone on there and push it in, it brings itself down and locks it in place and the phone is on there nice and secure. And you'll have to make sure you've downloaded the app to your iPhone. It's called Axoon C. You will definitely need that to make sure everything works. You then have to plug the phone into the CMO unit and you do that with this provided uh, cable. One end is a USB-C that plugs into the video out. The other end is an Apple lightning plug, which just plugs into your phone. Then it's just a simple matter of getting a HDMI cable and hooking it up to your camera. Now they don't supply this. You have to provide that uh, because there are different sizes. For instance, this Canon DSLR uses an HDMI mini cable. Uh, this mirrorless camera and this action camera, they use HDMI micro. So just make sure you have the right cable for the camera you're using. 
So let's go ahead and attach it to this DSLR. We'll just mount it on the shoe on top here. Then you just spin this little lever around until it locks into place. Now we get our HDMI cable, uh, the full size plug, plugs into the SEMO on the top here. And then the little connector plugs in to the port on the camera, like so. Now we just power on the SEMO, there's a little button on the side, just push it once, a little green LED comes on. Now we can open up the app, push this button here, and it just takes a second or two for the connection to be made. And all of a sudden we should see on this monitor, there we go. So we're using that big monitor now, there's my hand in front. So instead of using a small monitor, we get this nice big image, very easy to see. Another nice thing I like about this unit is it has uh, a little shoe on the top here. So if you wanna attach other accessories like a video light, you can slide that on top or something like a shotgun microphone, you can put that on as well. So a very versatile little unit here. The Axoon SEMO is also uh, very useful with my mirrorless camera or my action camera. Uh, I use this mirrorless camera a lot shooting uh, video vlogs. Um, the problem is it has a articulating screen here, but it only moves up and down. It doesn't swing around, so I can't see myself. I'm always guesstimating the framing. But with something like the SEMO, I can attach it on there and have it facing forward. And then I just uh, plug in the cable. Now in this case, it is a HDMI micro cable. So we just plug that in. And plug the other end into the SEMO. Turn the camera on. And after a second or two here, we get, that's the playback screen, so we just switch it to the monitor. And there we go. So this is a great way if I want to make sure my framing is correct, my focus, my exposure, I can see exactly what the camera sees. This is a great way for doing video vlogs for YouTube and Facebook and things like that. And the SEMO even works great with an action camera here. Uh, I'm using a GoPro because it's got the media mod case, which means there's a shoe on the top for mounting the SEMO and there's an HDMI output on the back. So it is a really nice to get that big monitor. I don't have to look at the little tiny view screen on there. I get a nice big image and it works really good on this action camera. There are a lot of features on this app. I think the most important one is the fact that you can record video and audio directly into your phone. So it acts as a backup from your camera. Uh, maximum frame rate here is 1080 at 60 frames. Uh, shows our codec here, H.264. Uh, this shows the remaining battery in our phone. And of course we have the counter as you're recording. Uh, shows our audio uh, 48 kilohertz at 16 bit with the AAC compression. And if we hit this button down here, we can go in and change our video bit rate. Uh, at the top here, there's uh, various things. For instance, this will go from color to black and white. Uh, this shows the various color channels, red, green, or blue. There's a histogram. There's a waveform monitor. There's a focus peaking. Uh, you can change and customize the look by selecting different presets of LUTs from different camera companies. So if you have a specific camera here, you can select the particular style that you want. Um, there is also a zebra. You can't really tell on this image, but you can set the zebra, I think, from 50 to 100%. Uh, this has the uh, false color setting, which you can trigger. Uh, beside that is a, an audio setting. You can see the audio as I'm talking there, so you can record and monitor your levels. Uh, we also have Let's see, uh, we did that one already. Oh yeah, here we are. So you can change the aspect ratio by uh, flipping through here from extreme wide to you know 16 by nine down to four by three, things like that. Um, then there's a setting here for, uh, it's called squeeze. So if you're using um, uh, amorphic lenses, you can put different settings in there. 
Uh, there's a grid you can turn on or off. You can change the colors of that. Uh, this little one will go in and allow you to change the contrast and the brightness. Uh, this button will reverse your image. It's like a mirror image. It flips it back and forth. Uh, this one's kind of unique. It's like an overlay image uh, where you can, um, if you have another scene in there, or you're trying to match the action from one scene to another, you can overlay one on top of the other and line things up. That's kind of a, a unique feature. And then this last button here will let you capture anything that you see on the screen. It just grabs a still shot of it. Uh, there's also another feature here called Live, and if you hit that button, it opens up this little box. So you can go live, there's a little drop down here, YouTube, Facebook, or you can customize it. You just need to put in your streaming code and you can go live directly from there. So I've shown you how easy it is uh, to mount the CMO to various camera systems. Uh, I also find it's very useful as a remote monitor. And of course, to do that, you'll need to get yourself a longer HDMI cable and some kind of a little mini tripod system. But that way, you can run a cable from your camera to your monitor and set it up wherever it's convenient. And I find that really useful uh, for something like this. I do a lot of uh, reviews of products and I need to get shots. Usually have the camera set up over my shoulder. Well, I don't have a camera operator up there. So I'm kind of, you know, just guessing that everything's in frame. But by having it on a monitor down here, I can just have that set up just out of the shot so you don't see it, but I can look down and see exactly what the camera sees. So I know everything's in frame, everything's in focus, and I got the exposure the way I want it. So uh, in my opinion, this uh, Axun Simo is a really useful device, something I'm gonna be sure I always carry in my video kit.